New details in a terrifying break in after a man was caught on camera trying to get into a Van Nuys home. He broke into an apartment and took off all his clothes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Now, there are questions tonight about why L.A. police let him go after the first case. CBS 2's Leslie Marine went looking for answers. She joins us live now from Van Nuys. Leslie. Well, Pat, we do know the suspect Gage Roth is still in custody tonight. And as you mentioned, although he went to two homes that night, uh, he's only and he was only arrested for one of those cases and is only being charged for one of those cases. And now that case is being looked at as a misdemeanor. A terrifying situation that no homeowner wants to experience. Security video shows what appears to be this suspect, 31 year old Gage Roth, trying to break into a Van Nuys home. Um, this is a little guy. Who? Although Robert Hemingway and his wife did call police, Roth wasn't arrested. It doesn't really make anybody in the community feel safe. We reached out to LAPD and were told officers did come out. A detective said there wasn't enough evidence to prove this was an attempted burglary because there were no pry marks or evidence of force entry at the door. Police say the on-scene officers were told they could have arrested Roth for possessing burglary tools. But he was released after being checked out by a paramedic for drugs. Cops come and they always have the kind of that same response. You know, there's only so much we can do. That's getting old. You know, and it doesn't give you a whole lot of cause to want to call the next time. Hemingway is frustrated because hours after leaving their home, Roth broke into a family's apartment. He was found naked and even fought the father before finally being arrested. But we're now learning Roth may only face misdemeanor charges for this after the district attorney's office said it didn't have enough evidence to make it a felony. I mean, we, you almost feel guilty being fortunate. We were able to send the guy away. As for Roth, we found through L.A. Sheriff's Department jail records, he had been arrested just days before the incident at the Hemingways, first on June 3rd for violating probation, and then again on June 16th for brandishing a weapon. Records show since 2019, Roth has been arrested a total of five times for burglary and served a short prison sentence in 2019 after breaking into a vehicle. How many more victims are going to have to happen before we go, well, we need to get this right or we need to change it? Police did clarify to us late today that they didn't arrest Roth for having those burglary tools because those tools did not meet the arrest, arrest criteria. Police tell us they are still investigating this. As for the Hemingways, well, they tell us they will continue calling police no matter what response they get. Reporting live, Leslie Marine, CBS 2 News.